Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I wanted to come and address why so many women are single nowadays. Um, these are just my opinions. Of course, I want to hear your opinions down in the comment section below, especially if I miss something or if you agree with something, go ahead and let me know. Let's get started. All right, in my opinion, so many women are single nowadays because we no longer have to depend on the man being the sole provider for the families. We don't have to depend on that. We don't have to um, think about where the next meal is going to come from if something happens to the husband or the provider of the family. Um, we can. We also can go out and work and bring home the money as well to be able to take care of the family as well which also brings me to point number two uh, we don't have to do what our grandparents and great-grandparents had to do which is to stay for a point of survival they know if they left especially when the man was providing solely providing for them they were um, the stay-at-home parents and um, they knew that they could not leave for from a survival standpoint they had to stay there uh, which actually brings me into point number three one of the reasons why they had to stay there I'm sorry um, why they were thinking about leaving why the women were thinking about leaving is because of the things that the men did and they just did whatever they wanted to do maybe they had extra families on the side and yours was just one of them but he was able to take care of all of them whether you knew about it or not um, <clears throat> you didn't necessarily or our grandparents let's say that our grandparents and great-grandparents didn't necessarily agree with him having multiple women on the side but they did not leave because he was a sole provider and they knew that that is where they were getting their meals from and their clothing from and, and toiletries, etc. Their life was solely dependent on that man to take care of the family and to take care of her specifically. So she stayed. That doesn't mean that she liked what was going on, but she stayed. And so we don't necessarily have to deal with that nowadays. We don't have to, which is why so many women decide to walk away because we really can take care of ourselves and the family by ourselves. We don't want to do that. Like, don't get that twisted men out there. We don't want to do that. We want it to be a partnership. And even nowadays in 2018, it seems that some guys still want to do any and everything that they want to do because of what was actually sewn into them by the men that they grew up with, which is you can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, as long as you take care of the family. And women are just not having that any longer. Another reason why women are just alone or single nowadays is because they're like, you know what? I don't want to have to deal with all of that stuff. I don't have to deal with all of that stuff because, again, I could take care of myself, which is why you have so many single women and um, parents out there that are living alone. And in a lot of cultures, that is like a super bad thing for the women to be living by themselves without a man around. But here in America, in our culture, it is something that we have become accustomed to. And again, it's not something that the women just want to do at least most of them we would rather have the men around and they can help to bring up the, the children and they can actually see what a man is like to be around the father figure and everything we would like that however um, for some reason it has not panned out that way in whatever was happening in that particular relationship because we always think that it's cheating but it doesn't have to always be cheating it could be alcoholism it could be um, gambling it could be drugs it could be a whole lot of things other than just cheating but we as the women we don't want to have to feel like we have to deal with that which actually brings me into the fifth point which is we have children and we are trying to be better examples for our children. And if we could take our children out of these toxic relationships and just toxic environments so they can have a chance to have a healthy relationship themselves, then that is what we are willing to do to get away from all of this toxicity that is floating around in the environment. We want to bring our children up in healthier 
happier environments nowadays. So we don't have to deal with anything that we feel is going to harm or hurt our children and their future. We want to bring up upstanding citizens and um, being in toxic environments uh, or uh, I'm sorry, being in toxic environments can really harm the children. They can absolutely turn into bullies. It can also be something else that's occurring in the household as well. Um, like molestation, for example. There are a plenty of things that could be occurring in the household to make it a toxic one. But the point is, we as women nowadays, we would rather be alone not dealing with a whole lot of unnecessary stuff in order to keep our own sanity as well. So now, family, what did you think about that? Did I have a point? Did I miss anything? Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I love to read your comments. You already know that. And I definitely want to hear what you have to say as well. Definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, share it with anybody that you know needs to hear this message. And I will see you again in the future. Deuces.